If that doesn't get your attention, I don't know what will. I mean, thank goodness for cell phones, right? We all have them. I'm even guessing yours is within arm's reach of you right now. But please, resist the impulse to grab it because I'm about to share some potentially life-saving information with you. This information is about your smartphone. I've done a pretty good amount of research to find out if smartphones are dangerous. Because my smartphone is such a major part of my everyday life, I start to wonder if my obsessive smartphone use could be dangerous. If you're wondering the same thing too, don't worry, I'm about to share my findings with you. Be sure to also stick around to the end of this speech because you do not want to miss the tips that I will be sharing on how to decrease smartphone danger. First, I'd like to point out some positive features of smartphones today. Who here has ever taken an Uber, ordered food from Grubhub, or even found a dog sitter service using Rover? I can personally attest that I've used all three of these. All of these services can be accessed through your smartphone. In the same manner, smartphones play a major factor in being able to make, in being able for people to make extra money. Occupations such as an Uber driver or a dog walker all require frequent access to your smartphone. These smartphone jobs, as I call them, are just a few ways that people today are making extra money to support their family or even get themselves out of debt. Not only do smartphones have the ability to connect their users to job opportunities, but smartphones also have the ability to keep us connected with our friends and our families. I personally love FaceTiming with my aunt who lives all the way in Hawaii. Because of my smartphone, I'm able to see her every day face to face even though she lives miles and miles away. Even more importantly, smartphone technology helps people with disabilities. People like Jameson Hill, for an example. Hill is the author of the article titled, For People with Disabilities, Smartphone Use is a Matter of Survival, Not ad Addiction. Hill shares with his readers how smartphone helps them survive and navigate daily life. From communicating with his caretakers, using apps to monitor his vitals, and even ordering groceries, smartphone technology helps Hill navigate and survive his daily life with chronic fagitude syndrome. Cell phones are not just an object. They have become close companions for us. Now that you know some of the great ways smartphones can positively impact our lives, I'm going to share with you some surprising ways that smartphones Yes, the smartphone sitting next to you right now can be dangerous as well. Let's start with being honest here. Don't worry, nobody can see you right now because this is an online class and chances are you're watching my presentation from your bedroom, maybe even from your smartphone right now. So show of hands, who here uses or used to use smartphones while driving? I'm not going to lie and yes, after learning about the fatalities that happened from people who were scrolling social media or texting while driving, I've decided to no longer use my smartphone while driving my car. In a science news article called Impactful Distractions by Nathan Seppa, a biomedical writer with 27 years experience in professional journalism, he says that texting while driving is a type of conversation that can be lethal. Also, according to research studies with SEPA, he notes in his article that when you are concentrating on your smartphone while driving, it diminishes your extent of visual scanning, speed control, detection of warning flashes such as blinkers, and decision-making ability. For those of you who have been in a car accident, you know that an accident can happen within a blink of an eye. If you are looking at your smartphone while operating a motor vehicle, you are increasing your chances of getting into an accident by 75%. But anyway, I'm not here to convince you of anything. I'm here to inform you of the facts. So you can make a decision for yourself on how and when you want to use your smartphone in, rea in relation to safety and health. Here's a fact that you may or may not have already known. Smartphones admit low level radio frequency radiation, which can which I learned about this in a 2020 article called Is 5G Safe by Liana Zelensky. Zelensky is a writer who has written for the Huffington Post and Yahoo Health. Let's talk about radiation. 
think of a radio, you know, the old school type of radio where it plays music for you, but you have to turn the dial ever so slightly and point that big long silver antenna in the exact right direction in order to get your favorite station to come through. Radios and smartphones both emit low level frequency radiation. However, the frequency level that emits from your smartphone is stronger than the classic old school radio that I just described. As for an X-ray radiation, these machines admit a lot more radiation than your cell phone. Because we know that smartphones admit radiation, people have also wanted to know just how dangerous is this radiation. Dr. Robert Hoover, director of the National Cancer Institutes and Biostatistics Program testified in 2008 that cell phone radiation effects on the body appears to be insufficient in producing cancer causing genetic damage. A contradicting opinion comes from Andrea Boland, a former Maine state representative. Boland submitted a bill that would require manufacturers to put warning labels on every smartphone stating that electromagnetic, electromagnetic radiation exposure can cause brain cancer, kind of like the, the warning labels we now see on cigarette boxes. However, the World Health Organization said that there is not enough evidence to support this claim, so the bill was not passed in Boland's favor. There has been studies, however, that show how smartphone radiation can cause already formed tumors to grow even bigger. Since smartphone radiation waves lose strength as they travel, it is suggested to keep your phone away from you or on airplane mode when you're not using it. As we know, we most likely witness in our life, smartphones can be very helpful, meaningful, and they are a part of our everyday life. However, because we all use smartphones every day, it is important to be aware of potential dangers. You now know that there is a 75% chance of getting into an accident if you're texting while driving. You also know that smartphones emit radiation that is stronger than an actual radio, such as what I explained earlier. If you'd like to use your smartphone smarter, then consider these tips. One, use the, use the speaker option when you're making a call with your smartphone. Don't keep your smartphone next to your head. Put your smartphone on airplane mode at night or when you're not using it. To avoid causing a potentially fatal car accident from texting and driving, put your phone in your back seat while driving. This will help you avoid the temptation to use your phone while driving. You can also download the On My Way app or Drive Mode apps. Feel free to write those down. You can use you can, these apps help you, um, they'll, get, they'll send a text message, so basically when you get a text message while you're driving, these apps will automatically respond with a message stating that you are driving and you will not respond until you are done driving. Smartphones can be dangerous, but if you are well informed, which you are now, you can make efforts to be smart with your smartphone.